Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by HedgeDesignTutorials.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to hide or cover trademarks and brands or any moving objects in your video using the automatic mask tracking in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. There are many reasons why you may need to hide something in your footage. Maybe you don't want to promote brands in your videos or maybe you just want to hide a specific object or blur someone's face. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fastly and easily take advantage of automatic mask tracking in Premiere Pro to hide any moving objects in your video. After creating a new project in Premiere Pro, first I'll drag and drop my video inside the project panel. I'll right-click the imported video and choose New Sequence from Clip. First, make sure to place the playhead at the first frame of your video. Then go to the Effects tab and on the Video Effects, Blur and Sharpen, I'll drag and drop the Gaussian Blur effect on my video in the timeline. Inside the Effects Control Panel, under Gaussian Blur, I'll click on the Free Draw Bezier tool to create a new mask layer. Before creating the mask, I'll zoom in the video by increasing the video display to 200%. Then I'll use the Pin tool to create a mask around the object that I want to hide. Now from under the mask layer, I'll easily click the play icon button to drag the selected mask forward. All you have to do now is waiting for Premiere Pro to track the motion of the selected object. After done the mask tracking, you can clearly see that the mask is perfectly following the selected object. To blur and hide the selected object, I'll increase the blurriness parameter and also tweak the mask feather and the mask expansion until I get the best result. As you can see now, the object is fully blurred and covered. Also, from video effects, on the stylize you can use the mosaic effect, which is another widely used effect to pixelate, hide and cover objects in videos. Simply, at any time you can right-click the tracking mask layer and copy it, then paste it on any other effect in Premiere Pro. Then we can click the Gaussian Blur FX button to turn it off. Then in the Mosaic effect, you can tweak the horizontal and vertical block parameters until you get the desired result. Now let me go to File menu, Export, Media to show you fastly how to export the video from Premiere Pro. In the Export window, I'll first click the Output File name, then give my video file a name and a location, then click on Save button. Now to export a good quality MP4 video file, please apply the following settings as shown.
that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.